All right. So let us try this again. After we have died on our first attempt to do something in Crusader Kings 3, we got pretty far on that one character. So let's start another new game. We go on the earliest time frame we can and we play as any ruler, not the ones that are suggested. And we're going to press random a bunch of times and we will go from there. So let's set the game rules to be Iron Man enabled and leave everything else as it is. And we're just going to click on random character a bunch of times. Um, I think we live to the age of 65. So let's press random 11 times, six plus five. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we will be playing as Count Milon of Langres in vicinity to Dijon and vassal to the kingdom of Westfrankia, a feudal Catholic Frenchman. French, foreign culture, part of a Frankish group. How is it a foreign culture? Uh, and it is the house Milonid, which is obscure, and there are only two living members. So, I don't know what the difficulty thing he does. Easy, normal. Okay, so normal is the highest difficulty, so we'll play on normal. And uh, let's start and see what happens to us. So, we want to auto save, definitely. All right, so there we go in Langres. Langres. Is that part of Barcelona? Okay, Barcelona is its own thing. Or is it part of France? I, I, yeah, it's part of France. A little bit hard to tell. Um, but I think we, we still see everything in here because we are part of it okay so feudal is going to play a little bit different than um the tribal version so we're looking around a little bit and we are seeing that there's a bunch of counts there uh which we're probably going to try and attack so we're going to probably try and get dijon if we can i don't know uh let's figure out first how we can declare wars we cannot very good we do not have a casus belly so that's more attractive already. I didn't like the whole tribal just attack wherever you want thing. Uh, so this is a little bit more attractive indeed. Who do you belong to? The Duchy of Champagne. Which is all this here. Okay. So um, we are unmarried. Let's see who the game suggests us we do marry. And we wish to have alliance power. The Lordship of Keredion. Which I don't know where that is. Let's find out. Can we? I think it's, it's over there. Probably not Keredion then. County of Gamer. See where that might be. The High Chiefdom of Meath, that's the Irish, that we know. Also Irish, just based on the names here. I would like something in Frank, yeah. And oh, there's a... There's a county of Vermandois. And she is impatient, deceitful, but diligent. Let's get the county of Vermandois with a very young lady. We get 600 prestige because she's a carling uh, while she gets uh, nothing. But they are superior to us, so we get a good alliance out of it. I think that's a, that's a decent start. And no lifestyle is what we have chosen so far. We are pretty good at everything. We could go for intrigue, but apparently learning is where, where life is at for us. So 20% more experience. Let's go with that and see what we can do. We already are a scholar, aren't we? This looks like it's fully done. That's pretty amazing. 
So we don't need a scholarship focus. Let's see. Understanding, learning, and a small health boost. That's cool. Learning experience, 30 per month. Development, 15% growth. Theology focus, piety, extra per month. Who knows what piety might be good for? Theologian. What do we get here? Tyranny gain. Level of devotion impact. Monthly piety per night. This icon. Stress gain. Minus 20%. We will go for the medicine focus there. Insightful thinker. Plus four. Bad. All right. So I think it might make sense to switch through these as well. But a whole body might be really good. A whole off body. So we've picked this. What else do you want me to do? We have few knights and... We are the first heir in line to inherit Boulogne, yeah, the county up there, part of the Duchy of Flanders, but we definitely want to work on Dijon here. So let's get our, we don't have an available spouse, oh this is our spouse, oh, okay, 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 so let us go fabricate a claim. And we shall do that in Dijon. And you will collect taxes. Yes. You will not do that. Let's focus on domestic affairs. I don't like enemy claims. That's just... Why would I ever want to risk that? That's a crazy, crazy, crazy notion. So here we have... Organized levies. And... Maintenance cost. Do we even have men at arms? Okay, we'll leave her at what she does. That is all fine. We will have a Spau Shun to give her some shops. Have our domain holdings in Langre, which we cannot buy any measure afford to upgrade oh there's a few more options here military camp bar what does preview mean oh okay all right so this gives tax this gives ta tax and land this gives tax and defender advantage, which I think is pretty cool. That's a cool idea. Defender advantage. That's interesting. So if we could probably go for farms and field, which supply limit, levy reinforcement rates. Makes sense. But for now, we need to figure out how to earn money anyway. So Catholicism. Armed pilgrimages. Okay. Communion. A characters may seek indulgence. Characters who have committed criminal acts may seek indulgence and forgive. Okay. Monasticism. Vows to become a monk. Okay. Other Christian faith that have the uh, ecumen. No. That's not how you pronounce it, but my brain is not willing to give me the correct pronunciations. So I'm not gonna try. Theocratic, yeah, okay. Righteous. Can revoke land titles from evil infidels without incurring tyranny. Evil infidels, okay. So we're monogamous. Avunculate marriage. Marriage between cousins. Nieces is allowed. Sexual relationship uh, will not give the incest secret. Bastardy. Okay. Same sex stunned. Okay. Sounds pretty okay. 
Create new Christian faith. Let's do it. <laughs> um, we don't have the options for that. So, but as far as I can tell, that's all we can do. We are definitely not uh, the head of the French culture. <laughs> that much is sure. So we have our alliance up there now. Oh, Dijon has... They actually have two counties, I think. Or they have a county with a city. We have a bishopric here. Hello. It's ours. Okay. Stuff happening over there. France is going to war, it looks like, against the vassal. Vassal. Something silly. Oh no, that's an invasion of the King of Estrankia. This guy's invading here. Right. We have our alliance up there, which is nice. We have our sights set on Dijon. So do we have enough what do we need for man at arms? Gold, which we also do not have. Mercenaries. Right. Um domain session. Don't think we can change anything here. Any tour? Don't have that innovation yet. Right. Brown authority laws up there. Gender laws. We can't change anything here. We could try and recruit this man to court. He isn't really great, so. Why would we? We are waiting for our wife to come of age, really. Our rally point is here. We don't really need more. Um, port. We don't want to invite knights. They're quite expensive for no good reason. Intrigue. Hostile scheme. Secrets. We have this hook. Our Chancellor's poor diplomacy has cost us 150 prestige. Lovely stuff. I wonder how much a claim is going to cost. 150 gold or something? Likely. Likely. Your liege won a war. Very good. Thank, thank you, liege, for winning this lore. Uh, let's call a hunt. No, that costs money. Um, go on pilgrimage, that also costs money if I remember correctly. Invite knights costs us money, so we do nothing. I suppose. Nothing whatsoever. We are not... Not rightful liege. Of whom are we not the rightful liege? Okay, I think he is not our right, rightful liege, so we don't pay everything. So what is this in du jour? How am I not... He is my rightful liege. Come on now. Don't be silly. Nothing interesting here. Well, now I understand how these tooltips work. Okay, so... 
you hover for a while and then you see how the border changes and once the border changes you can interact with the tooltip. Oh. All right. Okay, that's good. I like that. That's a good that's a good idea. We have found something good about Crusader Kings 3. That's lovely. So there's our heir who is a treacherous villain. Uh, we can hook him to come to court, so we shall. And we have recruited him to court and he is now... Okay. We can lose all our money. Can't I get Jewish gold? Be it done. Our heir is unmarried. That is unacceptable. Let's give him a wife. Pretty. Can we get alliance power here? Then he gets the pretty Bavarian. And we put him. Be where was it? One of our knights. Yeah. So we are now stuck with little money. And we cannot declare war if, if we are in debt. So let's speed up and hopefully get out of debt. So we can declare war on our unpressed claim. I think we'll speed it up even further because this is depressing me. Ah yes, thousands of things happen. Yes. With my marriage to the Countess of Kunengu, the realm expects us to throw a suitably. Uh, it is well within my rights to collect a royal aid duty as part. Of course, I will collect. Okay, so now I can slow this down again because we have again money. Okay, so we're going to go and declare war against him. And he is of similar strength, having one ally as well. Why is all this red? Are all these his allies? How is the county of Bourbon this insanely large? I have 360. No, that's him. How many troops do I have? Okay, we can do something in Flanders. I learn. But, uh, yeah, he has... I, oh, he's allied with King Charles of Frank, yeah. So now you can be allied to your liege and your liege is going to do something in the war. That is really odd. That's going to take some getting used to. Propose an alliance. Despite your lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both... County of Berry would like to have an alliance. Okay, sure. Wait, I can't just propose these? Why is it two more? Really? What? What is that? Why do you do this to me? I get it. You don't want to scroll through, but I don't know what is behind two more. Those are the types of things that really get me about the interface design here. It's so odd. Romance. 
Let's romance our wife. 100%. We may become soulmates. Let's do that scheme. Let's let's seduce our dear wife. Declaration of love. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Declare our undying love and devotion through a letter. Figure out. Stewardship. I will go with my gut in the moment. Okay, I recruit one of my most senior soldiers and practice with him for three days straight. Once he deems me ready, we head together to the main courtyard. As we begin to spar, a crowd gathers and the cheers soon draw none other than the fearless Countess Kunigundis. A soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a fa final flawless thrust. I kneel before Kunigundis and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, Countess Kunigundis. Bringing you honor is my only desire. My beloved is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else would she be smiling thusly? Thusly, yeah, look at that smile there. He's a bit cross-eyed, but that's okay. And thus continues our attempt to charm the carling lady. Modify feudal court. Feudal taxes. Okay. We must propose an equal exchange of two obligations and hooks. So he gets more troops and I pay less money. How about that? Would we be fine without? Uh, apparently they are fine with that. So we should get more money now. Do we have less troops as well? Does like does that cut our troops down? I didn't look how many troops we had before. Hmm. Right. There's a vassal over there too. I really like that. The the whole flow of vassals. That's cool. I really enjoy that. A nice way to visualize it though it kind of fails here because it goes into the mountain and i think well maybe the mountain is his uh vassal too after all daenerys did it why wouldn't he be able to correct so how does our war look like now because we have two allies there's no woman lovelier than countess kunigundis in her presence my words often fail me none of my compliments ever do it justice perhaps a carefully drafted poem would be better I will write about her diligent, impatient, order, hateful. <laughs> Let's uh, write about her exquisite features. By the way, let's look at the barbershop real quick, because I feel that I am somewhat, um, you know, I, uh, I earned myself a few things here. Have I not? A chaperone. This one I earned. I think the jesters had to. Hair. No hair. Page boy. But the beard. There should be a wizard beard somewhere here. Yes. That is our true appearance now. Oh no, now that we have grown out our beard, Kunigundis does not respond anymore. 
though. What does it mean, unpressed claim? Unpressed claims are legally tenuous and are not inherited by the children. Okay. So even if we get a white piece, the claim can be inherited. Oh, he's big. We're similar now. But I still feel we can we can do a little bit better. Uh, let's check. How do you have this alliance anyway? The negotiated alliance. Okay. Can't we get in the negotiated alliance? How do we do that? Why claim or request a claim? Sway him? But does this replace our other scheme? Oh, we're already 46. That's not amazing. But at least we secured ourselves an heir. She is indeed quite pretty. Uh, things happened. Available perks. Okay. Yeah, so we're done with this one. So we are going to go... Court physicians cost less to hire. Oh, yeah. Not terrible. So how do I see who would be willing to, you know... Consider... Oh yeah, additional taxes, well done. Oh, we have a few, few knights. We could recruit him, he hopefully doesn't cost much. Ten. He will be forced to be a knight for the money he cost us. We have 105 gold, what should we do with it? Can't upgrade this. Could we build something here? Can build the hunting grounds, which gives us a little bit more money or military camps. No more levies. Siege goes to war against King Louis. We could offer, can, can we offer to join? Offer to join war. King Louis of Italy is not our ally. How is King Louis of Italy my ally? Excuse me? He doesn't have a family. I don't understand how this guy could be my ally. Um, hmm. Okay. No idea how that works. What are we doing? Medicine focus. Running. So should we build something or should we wait a little longer? I mean, this is pretty good. But this is also not too bad. I think I want something that gives us troop and money. So likely this, it also gives a fort level, which is, I believe, important. Fortified holdings. is a holding with buildings. Uh, fort level. 
A high fort level requires siege weapons in order to be besie besieged efficiently. Although each siege weapon is only if effective up to a certain fort level. Okay. So... Yeah, we don't like each other very much. That's not ideal. Yeah, I definitely want to build the fort and towers. My name is Maurice and I am a trained physician. Yeah, he is gonna become our court physician and give us a fertility treatment. Come on, man, make me fertile again. I wanted to give my court physician time to settle in, but mere hours after his arrival, he bursts into my office in great case in tow. He heaves it on top of my desk, an unsettling clank. You and your wife have several options, my lord. There are tinctures, which are tried and true, but I also have some experimental treatments under development. A simple tincture seems sensible. Something unexpected might happen. Ooh. The future of the realm is at stake. I'll take anything, my good man. Am I even brave or anything? Your bodies are not synchronized, my lord, but I have a remedy for that. You must drink your wife's urine and she yours every night before bed for a week. Then your energies are sure to align. Well, that music is definitely louder than me right now. I am very sorry. Let me tune that down. And it went away. What? <laughs> um, let's turn on... This maybe, and this also, and hope it doesn't happen again. What do I build here? Temple 1. Basically the same things, except for monasteries. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and get 150 gold. Let's speed up a little bit. Ah, our wife is bearing our child. That's great. Bleeding out. I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when I see really he's losing too much blood. Where is the physician? Maurice is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. What? Look at the man. Suddenly, as if he stepped out of thin air, my liege King Charles is at my side. He rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. That is cool. Hand me the tourniquet! King Charles II becomes our friend. Stop back! This is my patient. No. Okay. Hook gained. We have gained a loyalty hook on Buchard de Longway. Our patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown men weigh him down. Every step of the way is a battle, but King Charles remains calm and eventually a quiet focus settles over us. I'm not sure how we managed, but in the end it seemed like the soldier will, will live. This was an impressive feat, my lord, Charles says with a tired smile. It was an hour honor to serve at your side. Yeah, okay. I could not have done it without you. So he's now my friend, is he? Does that mean we can have an alliance? How do I get an alliance? Ah! Oh, I could join him. Lady Kunigundus, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. Cunegunas ponders the request for a while before her face lights up. You should be able to sustain yourself on nothing but your love for me for many days. Slightly starved for two years. <laughs> what is slightly starved, I ask you? A minor health penalty. By the way, Another thing, if you look, there is a line running through, which tells you when it's locked. See how it goes up? At first I thought, like, what is this science fiction scan animation? But now it makes sense. I like this. This is good. This is very good. 
Okay. Um, not a crumb will pass these lips. These have pretty much the same outcome. Will happen intrigue challenge against Countess Kunigundis. What does that mean? Are our intrigue skills going to be matched? So we are at 11 and she is at 11. Are we at 11? No, we're at 16. So, okay, let's try that. Um, let's try this. Not a crumb will pass these lips. I think we're lying. But I won't shun a shun, chunk or a piece. Oh, look, okay. This is not cool. Look at all this up here. This gray text. This gives context to what happens down here. So, okay, we're lying, basically. And no one uncovers the ruse. Very good. So we are not starving. We are lying to our wife, which is amazing. Good stuff. Why are these blinking? All right. Staring at stars. For, uh, from all my evenings watching the stars I've seen with my own eyes, I have only heard before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My suffragan bishop does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be, the celestial realm is for the clergy to know. Um, earthly focus. Yeah. I will find my answer in the heavens. I could offer to join his war, but I still cannot get him. I don't want to disrupt this scheme down here, so we'll leave it. Who's winning? Are you winning, my lord? Bunch of armies here. I find it very hard to tell who belongs to whom. Poetic license. There is no woman lovelier than her. Does she even have ambition? I don't think she has. She's impatient, but she's diligent. We will um, talk about her strength of body, I suppose. To the winsome Count Millen. The sound of your voice is the wings on which I ascend to heaven. I have no other desire but to hear your voice again, that I may know the radiant aura of your soul. May our love grow and flourish evermore. You must have liked my poem. I would suppose. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Bishop Roger often quotes passages from the scriptures about the holy virtues. I should improve. I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own. Preferably one which complements his personality. We'll memorize and recite a section on... Shy, lustful, wrathful. You are a lovely priest, my friend. Um, wrathful, forgiveness, yeah. Moderation, lustful, uh-huh. A healthy appetite. Let's go with that. Because, well... Oh, I think if they blink their sins... Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yes, it said something about virtues of being gluttonous. I cannot recall his exact words, so I allow myself some creativity. Unfortunately, the bishop is rather conservative. What are you talking about? He sneers. These are not the words of God. He, do he doesn't like it. Okay. I'm trying, though. <gasps> yes, a new heir is born. Actually, two new heirs. Look at those little munchkins. Just look at them. God, they're ugly. My God. Two little twin daughters. After the mother, and she will have a good French name. So, Kunigundis and Catherine. May you two grow strong and wise. Well, that's, that's fortunate. Two girls at once. All right, ladies and gentlemen. For our direct heir, we will consider only a matrilineal spouse, of course. Let's see if we have an alliance power here somewhere. No, we do not. So she is zero years old. Uh, let us find someone uh, of a halfway similar age range there. Definitely Catholic, though.
Um, yeah, why not Bavarian? We have we have made good strides. Oh, he's also hail. Gunigundus loses a little bit of prestige for it, but that's fine. Look at that ugly little child. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, let's give her some education. What would we like her to be? What would we like her to be? Ah, let us just... Yeah, let's just do it ourselves. And... This one, She will be used for alliances. No, she will not. She will also get a matrilineal a marriage. Breton, Serbian, Anglo-Saxon, Saxon, Saxon. Lombard? Let's go with the Lombard boy. Oh, and you also get a guardian, which is me, Papa. Your dearest Papa. Excellent. We have not gained any alliances from these here. But that's okay. Once we get more kids, we will go for alliance things. really want to but i'm also very scared because bourbon has a whole lot of bunches and things and stuff i'm as fascinated by the human body and all the secrets that it still keeps from us questions of life and death are constantly on my mind to read texts on the topic is all well and good but i cannot help but feel like i would learn more from hands-on research may gain a learning lifestyle perk Oh, let us maybe gain a learning lifestyle perk. I try to hold my breath as I sift through the tangled mess of slimy swollen entrails sprouting from the corpse's belly, but it is to no avail. The putrid stench of decay slowly finds its way to my lungs, making me gag. Something then tears open, a stream of viscous yellowish ichor spills all over the operating table. What was that? Um, <laughs> I just need to find more bodies somehow. Um, <laughs> okay, either either he aids us. I mean, he, he looks a little bit. We both kind of look a little bit. Let's both be a little bit. Let's see what happens. Secrets of the body. Maurice was ecstatic to learn about my newfound interest in anatomy. With his help, I have significantly deepened my understanding of the human body. I only wish he could uh, be some way to say, stave off the smell. I am starting to fear all this exposure to bad air might not be good for my health. Perhaps some flowers could help. Um, gain the trade ill, potentially. All right, we'll 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 see. Maybe, maybe we are going to get ill. Thankfully, proper use of flower patches, incense, and aeration seems to have helped lessen the uh, effects of the bad vapors emanated by the cadavers were uh, were having on my body. I can finally focus on my studies. Nothing stands in the way of knowledge, so we get an unlock. Wash your hands. Reduce chance of contracting illness. You can take the embrace celibacy and abandon celibacy. Oh, okay, carefree. I mean, this is cool. These are both cool. What comes after? When death of natural causes is one year away, you will receive a warning. Wow, this is amazing. This, this, these are really crazy. Okay, what do we have here? I think I should just press it and try for a white piece or something. Every time I close my eyes, I see Kunigunde's sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to the garden outside their living quarters. The sight of Kunigunde's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close and yet so far. But wait, who is that climbing the tower? The shady figure stops by Kunigunde's window and unlatches the shutters. 
My beloved, this danger is in danger. I must save her. Yes. We will try and attempt it. The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without a care for life, I hoist myself through count uh, Countess's window. The scene that meets me is not what I expected. Overturned furniture, shredded curtains, and Kunigunda standing over an unmoving body with a bloody dagger in her hand. Kunigundas, are you all right? I ask cautiously, as if my words were a spell. She finally unfreezes and throws herself in my arms. Thank God you're here, Milon. I will never let you get in harm's way again. One sweet kiss is the only reward I crave. She becomes our soulmate and we lay with her. And we get 350 prestige either way. Well, if that's not great. We have unlocked a new lifestyle perk. Disease resistance, fertility plus 30%. Disease resistant health, massive boost. Let's just do that for now. Healthy, medium health boost. So this health boost only happens when we encounter penalties. That's really good. So we should be very happy with each other, I think. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my knights cheer as Countess Kunigundas announces the tournament in their honor. And for once I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend the entire journey, uh, journey day stuck to a throne, however. I too cheer to my knights. Every night gets 20%. The day is in our honor, my dear. No, no, we, we cheer for the knights. It's cool. So, so far not a lot has happened uh, down here in France, but uh, we'll gear up once we have more children, hopefully soon, from our wife and soulmate, the bold knave. Um, we might get more stuff going here. And yeah, hopefully we can start posing a threat to other people. Uh, I'm also waiting a little bit more until we can build something here so we can get something that gives us money and troops. So uh, the walls and towers is probably ideal. So yeah, some more stuff to wait around for. We'll see how all this uh, goes. Thank you definitely for watching and I hope you follow along on the house millionaire journey once more and let's see how far we can get before we lose this time thanks for watching bye bye